Now for something completely different. We've been hearing a lot recently about how robots may be about to replace up to a third of UK jobs over the next 15 years. But in America, they're already getting started. A burger flipping robot by the name of Flippy yep, began his first shift yesterday at a restaurant in Pasadena in Los Angeles. And it's the first of dozens of locations for the system which is destined to replace human fast food workers. Let's talk about this with Kevin Curran, Professor of Cybersecurity at Ulster University. Good morning. Good morning, Anna. We've talked about some strange things over the years, but Flippy, for anyone who's not familiar, paint a picture of what this looks like. Yeah, Flippy is a robot with a um, six-axis um, robotic hand, and it stands, for want of a better word, beside a burger grill, and it flips burgers, and is, is equipped with thermal cameras, is able to tell the temperature of the burger, and is able to flip them over, make them cook them to the appropriate exact temperature, and then move them onto another tray where a co-worker who works alongside the robot is able to dress the burgers, put cheese on top of them, and put them in a bun and serve them to the customers. So the company has said this isn't about replacing jobs, it's about having a third hand in the kitchen. Would No, no one would ever say no to that, but is it really a, a step towards replacing human workers in yeah, the fast in food industry. Yeah, in reality, robots have been replacing tedious tasks done by humans. And I feel for the owner, because he himself says that he often brings in someone for two weeks, teaches them how to use the burger grill and all the training that goes with that, and then they're gone. So there are some tasks that humans really, really do not want to do that are dull, repetitive, um, tedious tasks. And something like this is actually, you can see why actually probably is better that a robot replaces a human doing such a job. Do you know what I like about Flippy? He's even wearing chef whites and his one wee arm. Partly so. He wears a chef white uniform. Now, the, there's some criticism, though, because it can only cook uh, at a certain program. You know, can't do, you know, specifics like well done or, or medium. So he's, he's quite limited. Yeah, he's been in development for a few years, but only in the joint in Cali Burger in California for a few months. But they've used, they've got artificial intelligence in there, and they themselves are saying that it's improving all the time, that they expect it to, prove, to improve. It costs $60,000, um, it's $12,000 a year to also run, um, and they hope to roll out to many others. But they say it's improving all the time, and it even has pneumatic arms, or at the end of his arms, able to change tools, so it can change in... Uh, uh, also change from beef patties to using chicken and other ingredients, or, you know, other meats as well. So it will get better, more sophisticated. As we know, technology always gets better. Would you be happy to eat a burger cooked by Flippy? I'd be more happy because humans have also, uh, humans go around and touch things, go to the toilet and come back in again, but the robot remains there. So actually you get a higher, you know, you, you probably get a cleaner burger from a robot. Good to chat to you this morning. That's Professor of Cybersecurity at Ulster University, Kevin Curran. Teresa, what about you? I don't know after uh, what we've been hearing this morning about people washing their hands. I think I'll stick with Flippy, maybe.